Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. So, we got some big news. We got the news of who our new doctor is going to be, our 13th doctor. And it's Jodie Whittaker. And this is the first time that Doctor Who has regenerated into a woman, which is huge. It's, it's a huge deal. Um, that being said, I don't know who Jodie Whittaker is. I haven't seen anything that she's been in. I'm actually going to check that now because I don't think I've seen anything that she's in, so let me not lie to you guys. Um, she was in something with David Tennant, I think Broadchurch. But I haven't seen that. I just know that he was in it and it comes up in, I think, my Netflix all the time as something that I should watch. Um, so, of course, of course, because we can't have anything nice. We can't have a female doctor without, you know, the trolls coming out of the woodwork, right? So, I'm not going to, like, name names um, on this because I really don't want to give these assholes more of a platform. Um, but a comment that comes up every single time a woman is cast in a traditionally male role, um, obviously now with Jodie Whittaker being... The Doctor, when there was a woman Thor, um, I can think of a couple other ones, but there's always the, whoa, when are we going to get a, a Wonder Man, or when are blah, 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 female character going to be the boy character, and here's the difference, because I don't think people quite understand. We have what? 70 some odd, 80 some odd years maybe at this point of a male Thor. If you don't like female Thor, if you don't like Jane Forrester as Thor, you have a huge back catalog. Um, also, there is no other female compare. Um, superhero that's comparable to, or comparable, to Thor. It's just, it's Thor. A storm, maybe a little bit, with the whole weather thing, but, um, not anything and not anything like Thor. Um, as for Wonder Man, there is a Wonder Man, and he wasn't popular, so they stopped making him. Like that—that's the—that's what you you want a Wonder Man. Well, ha Superman's over here. Like, have fun with that. Um. Oh, what else? So, yeah, same thing with Doctor Who. Oh, you don't like this particular regeneration of the Doctor? Well, you have 12 other 60-some-odd years. No, it can't be that much. Maybe 50 years. No, 50 years, sorry. So you have 50-some-odd years of male Doctor Who to go back to. And when this... Regeneration is over. Come back and see who the new one is. I mean, every time the Doctor regenerates, there's a lot of, and I don't like it, I don't like it. And before you even really see who, how the new Doctor's gonna be, like, there's just automatic, you know... Hatred of the Doctor it happened when Matt Smith took over and when, I can't remember Nine's real name, I think it's Eccleson. He's my favorite Doctor and I can't remember his name. But I mean, there's always been 
my hair is doing a thing this morning or today. Um, but there's always backlash, and so obviously this is no different. I'm kind of excited. I wasn't a huge fan of Capaldi, um, not because he was incredibly horrible, like he's a fantastic actor, he just seemed really mean to me, like everything I saw it was just extremely mean, and I'm like, I don't like mean people, because, you know, I'm seven. So, um, I'm looking up Jodie Whittaker's list here, and yeah, there's nothing that I, I have seen, so I really don't have an opinion other than, um, she's an actress, was she in Bradford? I didn't even, yeah. Um, she's an actress. We're gonna have a lady doctor after 50 some odd years, which is kind of exciting. She's very pretty. Um, yeah, it looks like a lot of British TV, which is fine. I don't happen to watch a lot of British TV, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's already established that Time Lords can regenerate uh, into really any gender, species, alien, race. I think they come in contact with. I think as long as they know, like, they'll never regenerate into something that they've never seen before, which is why um, we have Peter Capaldi, he was in an episode, like, I can't remember which doctor it was, but, um, or I'm completely making that up in my brain meets, and I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure if they've had contact with a species, they can regenerate to look like that, that alien species, so... At least that makes sense in, in my head. But like I said, I could be making that up in my brain meets. So, my phone keeps making noise at me. I don't like it. Okay. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the new Doctor. I'm going to wait and see. If I hate the Doctor as a character in this, you know, that's one thing. But there's so much prejudgment and so much like very open misogyny of, oh, you ruined my childhood, it's PC correctness gone wrong. Did, I don't know if it was this big of a deal when Missy was revealed to be the master. Like, it was just the master, because the master has regenerated into different species and, um, and a woman at this point, and... I don't remember if there was a huge backlash, but, yeah. Um, like I said, I follow my, my boyfriend's the one who loves Doctor Who. Um, and I watch it, like I said, 9 is my favorite, followed by 10, then 11, then 12. I know, I'm writing, but who knows, maybe... Um, maybe 13 will take over, but I don't know. Tell me your thoughts and opinion down below. We'll have a really fun conversation. Be respectful as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!